Can AI systems truly replicate human thought, or are they merely skilled imitators of human speech? As we delve into their capabilities, it becomes evident that while AI can excel in mimicking human language and completing tasks, there's a compelling need to examine whether they genuinely comprehend the world as we do. Many advanced AI systems demonstrate proficiency in emulating human speech, acing tests, composing essays reminiscent of human craftsmanship, and engaging in conversations that blur the line between human and machine. However, can these capabilities extend to genuine cognitive understanding, especially when faced with complex visual challenges such as manipulating colored blocks? This inquiry gains traction when we consider the case of GPT-4, the powerhouse behind ChatGPT and Bing Search, which encounters difficulties when tasked with such visual puzzles. The discoveries made by researchers in May shed light on these limitations. These puzzles, intricately designed, hold promise as a novel yardstick to gauge the true depths of AI abilities. In exploring the intricate landscape of AI, it's evident that their prowess raises both admiration and debate, and the journey to unravel the nuances of their cognitive potential is far from over. While Ullman and Mitchell adopt a cautious stance in their viewpoints, Acknowledging the absence of definitive proof on either side, Ullman specifically highlights the lack of clear evidence as the reason behind this divergence of opinions. Both sides concur on the value of tests that illuminate disparities in thinking between humans and AI. These examinations serve a dual purpose, to pinpoint areas where AI improvements are needed and to enhance our comprehension of human intelligence. In this regard, Brendan Lake, another scientist, underscores the significance of discerning the limitations of deploying AI in critical fields like healthcare and law. The renowned Turing test, introduced by Alan Turing in 1950, represents a famous method for assessing machine thought. It hinges on a text conversation between a human judge, an undisclosed computer, and another human, aimed at discerning whether the judge can distinguish the machine from the human participant. Despite its prominence, there exists a debate regarding the precise application of the Turing test. Originally more of a theoretical exercise than a practical evaluation, the test eventually inspired real-world competitions, albeit discontinued in 2019. Some proponents believe that contemporary AI, including GPT-4, could potentially pass the Turing test, as their ability to engage in brief conversations can often deceive many individuals. Nonetheless, Experts assert that familiar yet slightly altered scenarios can expose AI's tendency to respond based on training rather than true comprehension, as suggested by engineer Francois Chalet. Nevertheless, some researchers argue that the Turing test emphasizes performative feats over practical utility, advocating for benchmarks that assess specific abilities such as language proficiency or mathematical prowess. Upon GPT-4's release, its creators at OpenAI subjected it to machine-specific benchmarks and human evaluations, revealing impressive performance across most assessments. Melanie Mitchell underscores that excelling in such tests does not necessarily equate to superior intelligence compared to humans. Rather, it could signify the tests themselves are overly simplistic. Concerns arise about potential question familiarity and the risk of answer retrieval, termed contamination. OpenAI investigated this by comparing questions and training data, discovering that minor alterations did not significantly impact the model's performance. This suggests that the model's responses aren't merely recollections, challenging the notion of mere answer recall. However, there are experts who raise concerns about the thoroughness of OpenAI's testing approach. Sam Bowman, a researcher from New York University, contends that even if some responses are derived from memory, it doesn't diminish the skill set of GPT-4. He emphasizes that the broader achievement remains noteworthy. Nevertheless, there's a caveat to consider. Mitchell points out that these models might occasionally falter when confronted with a question slightly rephrased. For instance, while ChatGPT could provide a suitable response to a business query, a slight alteration in the wording could lead to failure. A notable distinction between humans and models lies in how we interpret high test scores. 
For humans, excelling in such assessments implies general intelligence, the ability to tackle diverse tasks, and adapt to novel scenarios. However, this equivalence doesn't hold true for language models. Mitchell cautions against assuming that these models can emulate human behavior. Their comprehension of language differs fundamentally. They solely learn from text and lack the real-world experiential understanding that humans possess. Hence, while they exhibit linguistic prowess, their grasp might not be as profound. Lake contends that these models demonstrate language mastery without genuine comprehension. Nevertheless, language models possess distinct capabilities. They discern connections among an extensive array of written words, enabling them to devise solutions in a manner unique to them, divergent from human thought processes. Ryder, a representative from OpenAI, highlights that strong test scores don't indicate a model's alignment with human thinking. OpenAI's findings pertain specifically to the task at hand and don't inherently mirror human thought patterns. Several researchers have explored GPT-4's competencies beyond language alone. Sebastian Bubeck and his team discovered GPT-4's proficiency in passing tests designed to gauge human emotions and thoughts. This could suggest that GPT-4 potentially represents an early iteration of a more advanced AI system. Nonetheless, Bubeck is cautious in asserting that GPT-4 truly replicates human thought processes. Drawing an analogy to studying human cultures, Mitchell implies that this line of inquiry can be complex and unstructured. Ullman advocates for a more substantial body of evidence before we can conclude that a machine truly comprehends human thoughts. In essence, unraveling the true nature of these models requires a deeper exploration. Many experts are of the opinion that a more thorough and precise evaluation process is imperative. They propose that incorporating innovative logic puzzles might offer an effective avenue. In 2019, well before the surge in popularity of extensive language models, Chalet conceived an online assessment known as the Abstraction and Reasoning Corpus (ARC). Within this framework, AI systems encounter a sequence of images wherein the arrangement of squares undergoes transformations. The AI is tasked with grasping the governing rule behind these alterations and predicting the subsequent pattern evolution. Cholet asserts that the crux of intelligence lies in the capacity to adapt to novel scenarios. Lake underscores the significance of ARC in highlighting a pivotal facet of human intelligence, the ability to extrapolate abstract principles from everyday knowledge and employ them to tackle uncharted challenges. Chalet initiated a competition in 2020, inviting bots to engage with the ARC test. The victorious bot demonstrated prowess in solving tasks akin to ARC, but exhibited limited capabilities, correctly solving merely 21 out of the problems. In contrast, human proficiency in solving ARC problems typically hovers around an impressive 80%. Multiple teams have endeavored to assess large language models LLMs, through the ARC approach, yet none have achieved parity with human performance. Mitchell and her team took a novel approach devising a fresh array of puzzles termed Concept Arc, drawing inspiration from ARC but introducing two key distinctions. First, the Concept Arc tests were designed to be slightly less intricate, ensuring that even minor enhancements in machine capabilities could be detected. Second, the team selected specific concepts for evaluation and created a series of puzzles for each. To illustrate to examine the concept of sameness, Certain puzzles required participants to maintain objects with identical shapes, while others necessitated retention of objects aligned along a common axis. This method aimed to minimize the potential for AI systems to pass the test without genuine comprehension of the underlying concepts. Subsequently, these concept archi tasks were presented to both GPT-4 and 400 online participants. In this comparison, human participants garnered an average score of 91 across all concept groups, whereas GPT-4 achieved only 33% in one group and less than 30% in all others. We demonstrated that machines have not yet reached human-level performance, according to Mitchell. She expressed surprise that GPT-4 managed to solve some problems despite not being trained on them. The researchers also evaluated bots from Chalet's contest, designed for visual puzzle solving like ARC. These bots outperformed GPT-4, but fell short of human performance. 
The highest scoring bot achieved 77% in one category, but scored below 60% in most cases. Bowman contends that GPT-4's challenges with concept arc don't necessarily negate its abstract reasoning ability. He highlights that concept arc emphasizes visual aptitude, a domain where GPT-4 is not particularly adept. Moreover, while GPT-4 worked with numeric arrays representing images, human participants directly observed the images. Although OpenAI has developed an image processing version of GPT-4, it is not publicly available yet. Mitchell's team intends to assess this version using Concept Arc, though significant performance improvements aren't expected. Aquaviva from MIT concurs with Mitchell, referencing the One Dark test, where GPT-4's performance showed some improvement, but not enough to unequivocally indicate deep comprehension of underlying rules and reasoning. Despite these findings, Bowman argues that other experiments imply LLMs possess a degree of abstract reasoning ability. For instance, in a digital version of the Othello board game, LLMs exhibited a capacity to construct internal representations of the game world instead of relying solely on statistical memorization. While acknowledging LLMs' reasoning prowess is intermittent and more limited than human capabilities, Bowman anticipates future, larger LLMs to exhibit enhanced abilities. Both Bowman and Mitchell concur that identifying optimal testing methods for evaluating LLMs' abstract reasoning and intelligence remains an unresolved challenge. Frank from Stanford University opposes the notion of a single test superseding the Turing test. He advocates for a diverse array of tests to assess different system strengths and weaknesses. Wortham cautions against anthropomorphizing AI by attributing human-like intelligence to their goal-oriented behavior, which might not genuinely reflect human thought processes. In essence, despite AI systems like GPT-4 potentially passing the Turing test, an impressive feat, they remain distinct from human thinking and understanding. Researchers are actively pursuing effective testing methodologies to comprehensively gauge their capabilities. If you found this content engaging, kindly like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for tuning in and see you in our next installment. The fascinating journey into the realm of AI and its cognitive abilities reveals a complex landscape. While AI systems like GPT-4 show remarkable potential, their capabilities are not synonymous with human intelligence. The quest to unveil the true extent of AI's abstract reasoning and comprehension continues with researchers tirelessly developing diverse tests to provide a comprehensive understanding. Your engagement in this exploration is invaluable. If you found this discussion informative, we invite you to show your support by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. By doing so, you'll stay connected to the latest insights, discoveries, and discussions in the world of AI and beyond. Thank you for joining us on this exciting journey, and we look forward to exploring together in the upcoming episodes.